In today's video, we're taking a look at how to replace an ION speaker rechargeable battery easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. That does help us out a lot, thank you. So you woke up today and you felt like listening to some music, but you turn on your speaker and you notice it doesn't turn on. Or you turn it on and after a few minutes, it turns off. You left it charging for a couple of hours or even overnight and you disconnect it, relying on the battery to kick in and you notice there's no juice. Don't worry, here at the Statabox team, we've got your back. So the first thing that you wanna do is turn off the speaker, then disconnect it from the outlet, and then disconnect the cord from in back of the speaker. Now that we have this big paperweight that's no longer portable and it's ready to get operated on, the next thing that we wanna do is locate is the battery's Airbnb. And this is usually behind the speaker, right under the insert for the power cable. And as you can see, it has six screws that hold it into place. In this particular unit, it is Phillips screws. In your case, it might be flat-headed screws. No matter which kind it is, the technique is the same. We go by the ancient rule of lefty loosey, righty tighty, and go ahead and remove them. Now that we have access to its private quarters, the easiest way to remove the door is just tilting the speaker back and the door should fall by itself. And now that we gave the speaker a take that for not working, we're ready to remove the battery carefully. And we do this because in some cases like this one, we have a lot of playroom with the blue wire, but the red wire is coming in a little bit short. And the last thing we wanna do is damage it and go from a battery replacement to a full teardown. And the best thing that we could do, we can place something under the battery so the cables won't hyper extend or we can hold on to the battery at all times. We're ready now to remove the plastic rubber cover sleeve that hides our connection. And for that, you can use a needle nose plier and make sure that you don't crimp into the wire or you can use your beautiful strong hands. Now we have access to the connection and you're gonna notice where the wire ends and the metal starts. You're gonna notice a little button or a press which you can press down and pull the connection outward. In some connection clips, you only need to pull it out and that's enough. And basically you wanna repeat this to the other side as well. As you can see, the battery terminals are color coded the same color as the red wire. But if you wanna take the additional step of throwing a picture just to remember how to reinstall it, that's always a good idea. And now we've come to the most important part of the whole video. This is where you confirm that the battery that you have is the same or compatible with this device. Or the pro tip way is to read the battery now and with this information, go ahead and buy the new one. Now that you filled your brain with numbers, data, information, we're ready to place the new battery back. And basically we're gonna follow the same steps. We're gonna hold the battery at all times or either place something under so the cables won't hyper extend. And using a needle nose pliers, we're gonna connect the red wire first. And we're gonna do that to the color red terminal on our right side. Now we go ahead and repeat for the other side. We gently shove the battery in its spot. Now we're ready to place the cover back and screw our screws. And remember, if you have a faulty battery that's not charging, you can always use the speaker connected to the outlet. The only thing, it's not gonna be portable unless you have a long extension cord or it's no longer gonna have the rechargeable part of the system. Once you feel them tight, that's good enough. And now you're ready to connect your system, place it to charge for a few hours, and now you have a brand new speaker again that looks old on the outside. Don't forget, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, that really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone in the Statabox team or someone in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching, and here's a link to our latest video.